I've written um, primarily about India and quite um, in a sense a sort of a localized India if you like so it's um, it's not these are not immigrant stories these are not um, stories with um, set in places with uh, high cosmopolitan populations or anything I mean um, my so uh, the smoke is rising is a very sort of local um, a novel about a city and what's going on um, within its civic spaces um, my collection of short stories that is coming out next year is again um, set in many small places across India. Each story is set in a different state. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't have um, necessarily the influences that uh, I grew up with in terms of, um, you know, Kenya or the UK or, you know, those sorts of uh, uh, very mixed populations. I went to school there till I was about 17. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good school, lots of, um, lots of land, lots of green spaces, um, you know, a pretty conventional education in the, in the British system. Um, yeah, I mean, my, uh, I think our claim to fame is always that um, uh, the film Out of Africa was shot um, uh, in and around our school. But maybe it is an outsider's gaze. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to judge because I have nothing really to compare it to. But I think there is something about coming in from the outside and um, a certain kind of objectivity maybe. Um, and, and certainly an outsider's um, sense of observation where, where you, you just sort of quietly observe, you know. Um, uh, and I noticed now that I've been here five or six years, I've noticed that I'm losing that um, myself. I sort of talk mainly about the writing, so there's probably a whole lot of stuff that they don't know, you know. Um, but, um, but I like it that way because I think, you know, it's always best when you do talk about the writing, you know. Um, that's very often there's a huge focus on the life of the author. But I don't know why, maybe it's because people think that uh, people generally only write autobiographical stuff. When I was little, um, most of my generation were watching Star Wars and these sorts of films. But I, I was slightly obsessed with um, very strange dharmic films at that time. Um, I have no idea why, but they clearly spoke to me on some sort of, um, uh, you know, profound level. Maybe it's just the fight. I mean, both Star Wars and these, these strange religious films were kind of fights of, of uh, good against evil with good prevailing. So perhaps this was my own version of, of kind of getting into the whole Star Wars thing. Writing is a very solitary thing. So, you know, uh, sometimes it's just nice to be given the opportunity to, to come out and be a little bit normal, you know, um, and be a little bit social. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a privilege that anyone wants you, wants you to speak about your work in any context is, um, yeah, it's, it's a privilege and because you're, you're quite clear uh, quite early on in your career that most, the majority of people are not interested in your work. So, you know, um, the idea that anyone is, is always faintly surprising and, and very welcome.